what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be the recap for chucky episode six cape queer cape queer starts off in charleston south carolina we are catching up finally with andy and kyle who are driving to the home of a family named the morrisons they are taking up the fake persona as representatives for a consensus, but they're actually there for a Chucky doll that the family daughter named Becky has. Uh, Becky's seven years old and has a good guy doll going by the name of Charlie. This is, a, a, of course, possessed by one of the pieces of Chucky's soul that were split out from the events of Cult of Chucky. So this is a doll, again, that Chucky has split his soul into. And the doll, while it's hugging uh, Becky, shoots Andy a bird. And then he and Kyle shoot the doll to death before leaving to go ahead and I guess get started with their interactions with Jake and all of the other characters we've gotten to know before catching up with our legacy characters. And this scene alone is a confirmation that many dolls are out there possibly and that while and while the two are driving, Kyle asks Andy why he kept the OG Chucky head locked up for four years, torturing it. And then Andy recalls memories of the head screaming from the burns we saw in Cult of Chucky. Kyle then asks if that was the last doll, the one that they just killed from Becky's house. And Andy says that there's one more left, alluding to the fact that they are again on their way to go out to Jake Weber's location. Or Weaver, I think is his last name. Weaver. And they must be headed, of course, to Hackensack to again catch up with jake and friends andy and kyle have been tracking these dolls that were sent out by tiffany i would assume and they've just been killing them so that's a lot that they've been doing for just two weeks if i guess this is two weeks or three weeks after cult of chucky that's a lot to be doing within that time honestly uh maybe they're just cramming too much in for me i just don't find that a little believable honestly but detective evans is then shown interrupting jake's class to arrest the science teacher for the recent murders Devin pleads that it isn't her and after class Devin Jake and Lexi talk about contacting Andy Barkley for help we then jump to Nika and Tiffany back at the hotel packing up to leave and arguing Tiffany gets mad at Chucky and leaves the room Nika then suddenly takes back over her body once again like we saw in the last episode for a short period of time as she collapses then we jump to a flashback of Hackensack 1987 on the screen showing us a young Charles and Tiffany buying a car. The car salesman ultimately has his throat slit by, by Tiffany and the two drive off without paying for the car. Then we see Charles reading a book on voodoo as they drive off, drive off leaving the town of Hackensack. So this is the original part in which they had left the town of Hackensack. And we got a glimpse of Chucky giving in, getting into the, the voodoo aspects. Aunt Bree is then shown hugging Uncle Logan at home and it seems that she has told him about the cancer and decides to tell Junior as well. It's a very emotional emotional scene. Jake hears the news while eavesdropping and is invisibly disappointed. Back with Nika and Tiffany at the motel in Hackensack, Tiffany tries to recount their honeymoon while they play cards. Tiffany knows that Nika is in control of the body and it's not Charles in Nika's body and Nika and Nika chewing her nails was what gave it away and also the fact that she recently stabbed Nika in the leg and there was no reaction from it so definitely a dead giveaway there so Tiffany tells Nika that she enjoys spending time with her actually more than Chucky before disclosing that she has actually bought them a house in Hackensack and then we jump back to Lexi, Devin, and Jake, who are researching Andy Barkley at Lexi's house. They read aloud an article saying Andy escaped the mental asylum from cult and is still on the run. Lexi left the boys in that little room that they were in to go open the door to Junior, who was knocking, who tells her about his mom's cancer before breaking up with her for being distant and just not being available, I guess, for him. Drake try or Jake tries to call Andy and they talk about not telling anyone because they'll think he is crazy. Andy gives tips on how Chucky operates before telling Jake to text him the address and where they're at. Tiffany is then shown arriving at her new home in Hackensack and her name used actually on screen is Miss Tilly. So she's still going by Jennifer Tilly, the actress. So the house that she bought is revealed to be Chucky's old childhood home, as many I saw you speculating. In the trunk of Tiffany's car is Nika. She takes Nika inside, ties her up, leaving duct tape on her mouth while she strolls while she strolls through Hackensack. Detective Evans is shown questioning the science teacher with evidence and gets her. We learn about her juvenile record, the science teacher that being, and then the teacher whose name is Rachel again. I haven't made, made a mention of her name, but the science teacher's name is Rachel, I think. And she says she wants her lawyer before Detective Evans leaves the room, saying that she'll need one. 
and then we jump back to Aunt Bree driving to her session and leaves Junior in the car with her, just leaves Junior in the car while she goes in for her session. And inside she talks about sharing her truth with Dr. Mixter and saying she is denying the treatment for the cancer that she has in her body. I don't know why she's doing that. But she walks out of the room and stands by a window thinking about life, I guess, before Chucky, who followed her to the appointment, pushes a cart towards her, sending her out the window, falling to her death as he blows a kiss goodbye. Aunt Bree lands right on top of the car in front of Junior, which scares him to death, of course. That's a horrifying thing to see. Then we see Dr. Mixter shown talking with the family back at their house and reassures them that Aunt Bree loved them all. They think Aunt Bree killed herself and Junior blames Jake for this as their lives were fine before he came along. At Devin's house, his mom talks to him before heading back to work. Devin asks her about liking Jake and she supports him coming out to her. We then she leave, when she leaves the room, Devin is shown watching a movie that he uses for him, Lexi and Jake, to set a trap around the house for Chucky, who they expect is on, the, on his way, I guess. Devin tells Jake that he talked to his mom about them. They are interrupted by the trap moving, which means Chucky is near. They wander around the house, tracing the good guy, for, good guy footprints, but Chucky is upstairs with Lexi. The power gets turned off, and Lexi corners... And Chucky corners Lexi upstairs, exclaiming that he's got her now. He says that he'll let her go if she kills Jake, and he's trying to manipulate her the same way he was trying to manipulate Jake. Jake arrives and sneaks up on the doll with a bat, but Chucky escapes after cutting him. He ends up getting tased by Devin before running back downstairs. Detective Evans arrives looking for Devin and Jake. Uh... Looking for Devin, I mean, and then Chucky attacks her before telling Devin to watch as his attacks make Detective Evans stumble downstairs to her death as she snaps her neck. Chucky runs out of the house and the episode ends with the three kids kneeling over Detective Evans' dead body. So like I said, I know I tweeted out something about the fact that there would be some very sad and heartbreaking deaths in this episode. Uh, Junior's mom and now Detective Evans, definitely heartbreaking and these are going to play a big factor of course leading us into episode seven through eight i can't wait to see how this how this whole thing is it's been one hell of a ride Dom scene has done a tremendous job with this tv series and i hope we get a second season but let me know what you guys think about this recap for chucky season one episode six i know this was a little bit messier than my previous ones but if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video